Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 475. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> I am your host, Roman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. So, first news is Custom Generation 5 Pony Popcorn Bucket appears at major Cineplex in Lampang, Thailand. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, we have another celebration of the new Generation 5 movie via theaters over in Thailand. Apparently, one of them is rocking a custom po popcorn bucket complete with all of the characters emblazoned on its side. It's part of a collectible line of things as seen in the image above. I guess we can call this challenge mode for those of you collecting absolute everything uh, absolutely everything from g5 will <laughs> have you know people can't travel i think so anywho um popcorn buckets customized cool i guess uh, 350 but and yeah uh, let, let's see let's see um this is Ah oh, man, how how do I uh, see when they say customize? Those are those those are the <clears throat> sorry, those are the things that raises red flags. Like, is this product not official? Uh, this does Hasbro did, did Hasbro Green like this or does Hasbro know about this? This is one of those things where you want to do something for the fans, that's great and all, but if you cross the line, uh, Papa Hasbro is going to come down and they ain't fun. <clears throat> but that aside, the popcorn bucket looks good. I, I got nothing. Uh, yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> this is one of those things where it's interesting oh um looking at the thing here you can also get it for delivery um popcorn and two drinks i guess yeah i i, I guess so but anywho yeah um i have some friends in thailand <laughs> um probably i can ask them to get this for me but there's no point like <sighs> I, i'm just thinking because if Let's just say I ask them to buy this for me. And then like I want them to ship it to me. And you, you just have to imagine like, okay, you, you need to ship this bucket. And you need to make sure that it's not damaged during shipping. How do you do that? Obviously, you pack it neatly, make sure um, no harm comes to it and you send it to me in malaysia but the shipping cost is going to cost astronomical that's that's the that's the part where i don't know <sighs> but hey um at least there's something let's move on to the next news so still sticking with g5 uh tier 2 displays are up for my little pony a new generation in russia so, while most countries are heading straight to Netflix or the new move, movie, sorry, um, uh, and straight to Netflix for the new movies, Russia and a few others are going to have a full-on theatrical release. And with that comes signage. Signage? Signage. Okay. Anyway, um, Hasbro has a full-on wall pony over there along with the usual posters you expect from a movie at a cinema expect to play dodge the spoilers in uh, a few days when it starts releasing in singapore and elsewhere on the big screen for now enjoy the picture above blah 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 so this is cool this is cool um from what i understand um russia thailand singapore hong kong 
are some of the countries that are showing the pony movie. I am not 100% sure about the states. Uh, I think they are. Uh, comment below if you know anything. But yeah, um, this is cool. This is cool. It's, you know, personally for me, if the movie, the pony movie comes to, sorry, um, if uh, a new generation comes to theaters here locally, I would go. But the chances of it happening is very slim. It's a about a point not even a point one is yeah it, it is uh it's a point zero one chance of it hitting two theaters and the reason why is that um how to put this um my little pony as a movie is usually catered to the young audience probably from around young as toddler to um, let's just say preteens, 13 years old, and let's say higher if they want to go that route. But the rule over here in Malaysia for movie theaters is that uh, children below the age of 18, if I'm not mistaken, are not allowed to head into the theaters. Yes. Uh, one of the few reasons is um, children below 18 do not have their vaccines yet. Um, and the rules for entering a theater over here in Malaysia is that uh, you need to have uh, two doses of your vaccine and two weeks of <clears throat> a two weeks gap between your second vaccine. So it's one of those things where it'll be cool if it does show up on theaters. I would go, but the chances of it is very, very slim. So yeah, oh uh, man, um, like Seth said, if it's not in theaters, there's always Netflix. And here, here's a trick for you guys at home. Uh, granted, there's other places to get your pony movies or movies, whatever it is. But if you want to do it the legit way, uh, what you can do is get a get a free trial subscription to Netflix and then go watch the movie and then once that's done you can well essentially cancel but I do highly recommend getting Netflix because there are some awesome movies over there that it's kind of worth it to watch and the best part is you can cancel at any time if you feel like oh the m movie selection for this month is really not appealing to me. I can just cancel it and done. Like I don't need to pay for it. I can just wait until something really appeals to me and I can, and I can go um, subscribe again and so on. But yeah, um, for this one, man, I do wish that it's out in Malaysia so I can just watch it. And let's head to the last news for movies. And Singapore's early My Little Pony. A new generation screening includes limited edition pony bags. Oh, 19. What is the date for? Oh, it's tomorrow. Well, time traveling, time you wind me up. <clears throat> but anywho, September 19 is the date to keep an eye out for when it comes to major spoilers from the Generation 5 Pony movie. We reported on Singapore and a few other countries getting early access to it via theatrical release and these guys are up right there in the front. Apparently, it's going even further than, uh, uh, than that though with a free limited edition pony bag of either Sunny or easy with purchase of a ticket. I pop full uh, I pop full size pictures of both of them below. Uh, it's a shame it's not going well. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> okay, anywho. So theaters in Singapore, uh, it seems that the theater G V Vivo City Yes, Vivo City, GV, 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 GV. So anyway, um, 
it seems like Viewer City is going to have early screenings. So that's cool. Um, the whole thing is going to cost $35. And what it includes is one special screening ticket, one limited edition pouch uh, with asterisk. There are two designs and the design will be given out at random. So if you want to get the maximum amount, bring a friend and you can get both. <laughs> the worst part is if they give you the same thing. <laughs> ah, and one movie poster of unknown size. Mm. So this is cool. Honestly, this is cool. Man, I got no idea how big this is. Like the picture says, no, the, the picture looks like this and it okay i'm just gonna enlarge it the picture looks like this and it might be big but if i put up my wallet in front of you like this that's big too right oh god um <clears throat> but other than that uh, it's cool it's cool oh man i do wish that we could have this i i remember a story way back when when the G4 movie came out, or before it came out, uh, they were, how do you put this? They, they were people in the theaters. Uh, I, I think this was GSC, probably. Um, I, I think so, because GSCs were mostly the people to kind of bring animated movies in uh, early and stuff. And what they wanted to do for the Bronies was... Um, do an early screening uh give them posters give them all the stuff but the tickets were a bit expensive and uh, the how do i put it <clears throat> the mm, reception wasn't really there like most of the bronies didn't really care didn't really care or didn't really want to spend that much and here's the thing at the time the movie was spoiled or uh, it was leaked uh leaks of it were out there and if you know where to look you could have downloaded it and see it a few weeks earlier than it was supposed to release and stuff and yeah that that sucks that that really sucks and you know what i don't mind having that experience like going to a premiere um spending a little bit of money just to get those um what uh sorry uh posters uh drink um mugs or cups whatever you want to call them and stuff i mean those are really cool and oh man i i, I wish I wish we had that. Like those, those were fun if we could have gotten them. But c'est la vie. And let's move on to the next news. Haha. -ha. More well, it's not really tier term news, but it's G five news. And this one is about fun facts about the Generation Five main cast. So <clears throat> usually I don't. I try not to talk about spoilers and whatnot, but this one I feel like it's kind of interesting. It doesn't really spoil the show and whatnot. It's just fun facts, like things that you would like to learn before entering the theater and uh, watching the movie. So you get a general idea of why is Hitch this way. So... <clears throat> Um, the fun facts are, uh, I'm just going to just read some of it. In ancient Equestria, Earth ponies, Pegasi, and Unicorn live together in friendship and harmony. The first line there, or the first fact is, well, duh, but when you really think about it, wait, what happened? What did, what did Twilight do? Twilight, what did you do? <laughs> so, it's lived past tense. So, Twilight, what did you do? Oh, uh, boys. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> Luminescence is your sparkle. The happier you are, the brighter it shines. <clears throat> okay. 
that's something new to the lore. Mm-hmm. Luminescence. Uh, essentially, what luminescence is your uh, for for human terms is your chi or chakra or however you want to call it energy if you want to say and it says that if you are happier it shines brighter so that's simple straight to the point okay uh bridal wood home <clears throat> bridal wood home of the unicorns glows with a gorgeous light from gemstones and bioluminescence Huh, man, uh, the, you know what, all three are just one of those things where, wait, where did this came from, and what, and here's the thing, I understand that going in, we have to keep an open mind to things, we have to understand that this is something new, and we have to come in with an open mind but um it's part of the g4 canon and what i mean by that is that g4 generation 4 exists within this world uh, but here's the thing also um to what capacity for all we know <laughs> Um, uh, it, what, um, uh, what's her name? What, what Sunny, um, could just be spouting is that it's just a TV show or a entertainment stuff. Man, this is one of those things where I would love to know what happened. It's either one of two things. It's either something happened to Twilight that this happened or... It's just a show. Well, I mean, G4 is just a show, and this is, quote-unquote, the real world, and so on. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> but we have more, we have more, we have more. So, <clears throat> um, Pip. I got no idea what her full name is. Yes. So anyway, Pip is the stylish and talented pop star princess of Zephyr Heights. Pip is a triple threat she sings she dances, and also is an influencer oh no a youtube influencer ah. <laughs> uh, pip's passion is to entertain every pony oh that they still keep <laughs> all righty then all right pip so you are a influencer mm. okay Zip's full name is Princess Zephyrina Storms. Zephyrina? Zephyrina, okay. Uh, Zephyrina Storms. Zip's favorite hobbies are science and athletics. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, <clears throat> Zip's passion is to be true to herself and encourage that in others. So, mm hmm. Princess. Oh man, this. Oh. <laughs> and this is one of those things where, okay, you know Elicon, why you princess? Oh, this is new generation, new rules. But wait, oh man, I want to go watch this as soon as possible so I can just know what the hell is going on. <clears throat> okay, so hobbies and science. Uh, sorry, uh, hobbies are science and athletics. It's one of those things where they combine Rainbow Dash and Twilight. That's really cool. I do love the uh, mixture, but we since we have five characters instead of six, bound one of them is to get merged. And it seems that uh, Zips here has Twilight and Rainbow Dash's um, characteristics join into one. Uh, Pip here. Uh, Passion of Rain. Um, I'm not sure. Pinkie Pie? No, not really. This is one of those things where who do you represent? Rarity? 
Pinkie Pie? Pinkie Pie. Hmm. Well, it could be Pinky. But anywho, let's move on. Fun facts. Izzy lives in Bridalwood. Izzy is a crafter. She loves unicycling. Unicycling. Unicorn unicycling. I don't think we have that before, do we? Hmm. Izzy's passion is to create beauty out of ordinary things. It could be rarity. But rarity is generosity, so... Oh man, this this whole thing oh, is really... Okay, sunny. <clears throat> sunny home... <coughs> My bad, sorry. <clears throat> Sunny's home is in Maritime Bay. Sunny's favorite hobby is roller skating. We did have roller derby. Yep. Sunny's passion is to bring magic and harmony to all pony kind. So she has Twilight's magic thing. Probably. And the guy in the group? Hitch is a total critter magnet. They follow him wherever he goes. I can see Fluttershy written all over him. As Sheriff of Maritime Bay, Hitch is a stickler for the rules. So make sure to follow them when he's around. Or not, he'll blab your ears off. Hitch passion is to help ponies and critters. So, mm, where was I going with this? Fluttershy and Applejack. Applejack tends to help the community when uh, she is around Ponyville, I guess. Yeah, I remember that. Like, um, remember in oh, the episode where Rain, no, where Applejack was stubborn and didn't want help from her friends. Yes. She tried to help um, most of them with their stuff and whatnot, and yeah. Uh, I see mixed trouble, but what I really want to know is when we go in and see the movie. And if I'm not mistaken... Oh, man. Sorry. Uh, who does the... Ah, James Marston. Sorry about that, yeah. Um, James Marston plays Hitch, and wh why I'm bringing this up here, bef well, the rest I didn't, is because um, James Marston here plays um, the human friend that helped Sonic. Sonic, yes. So, he's, I, I think he's good, and also he played the prince in Enchanted. The Disney live action slash comic sorry, slash cartoon movie that they did. Yeah, he played the prince part that talks to animals. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, before you go into the movie, now you know what the characters are like. I honestly have no idea. Let's move on to the next news. Haha, <laughs> more G5 news. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> This one, and you're probably wondering why I put this one in, just because. Anyway, Generation 5 My Little Pony makeup for Loti appears on Walmart's website. <clears throat> a few weeks ago, we posted about a new makeup line from Loti over in London. Apparently, they've listed their goods up on Walmart's website now. If you weren't interested in acquiring them, sorry, if you are interested in acquiring them, here's some links. So, mm -hmm, mm, yes, <laughs> okay, fun, fun. Is that a guy or a girl? Okay, um, okay, uh, from what my friend told me, um, I messaged my friend and show this and my friend said that this is um for teens and stuff because uh what my friend told me that kids above 12 wear makeup and kids in the states wear makeup earlier than others that's what my friend told me and <sighs> 
I ain't no makeup expert. I Lena gel, uh, palettes, sweet lips, mask, and balm. Oh, okay. Um, what's this? Overnight tip, moist. Oh God. Okay, clearly I am no expert in the art of makeups. If I were, I would have been wearing some right now. I guess. So if you are interested in the makeups, you can go buy them on Walmart, I guess. Haha, -ha, now this is something more my speed. Mighty Jack releasing new Quetzal What the f Oh my god, it's supposed to say Crystal Friends, but this is quick Ah, you know what? I'm just gonna see this kid. Uh, Series 1 G4 Pony Sets. If skeleton, skeletons weren't your thing, we've got something else entirely coming out from Mighty Jacks in the future. In fact, it's on the complete opposite of the spectrum. Today, they've in introduced this adorable new chibi figures complete with different poses for each of the main Wast <laughs> uh, Mains and tails expect them in October on the 27th according to the image above Oh my goodness <clears throat> All right, all right So let's take a look see at the pictures. Ah, uh, just one Can we have a bigger shot? No One two three four five six seven uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Darn! <laughs> oh my god! So, alright. <clears throat> what we have here is... Uh, it's technically a um blind bag? Not really. It's one of those... Um, oh. Man, uh, I, I, I don't know how to explain or describe this. This is one of those pony toys where uh, it's considered a blind bag. But yeah, it's considered a blind bag where you randomly get a pony and you get one of the uh, main six here plus one variant um i'm guessing that celestia but that looks like twilight so anyway um <clears throat> one of the few things for this one is that um buying all six from what i can tell and from what i see here is that uh buying all six doesn't guarantee you to get the full set probably um best case scenario you get all the main six that's great except for Celestia but if you do buy um, if you do buy the full one box you might get Celestia and might not get one of the main six so you don't have a complete set but at the same time too um, getting one of the commons is not that bad because their prices are going to be low so if you do have a Celestia and not one of the main six, go try and find them online probably or trade it with a friend. I don't know. Or buy another box. So overall this is not bad. This is this is one of those cool things that I say that Mighty Jack has always fine designs. Their designs look really awesome. It's just that the skeleton and inner parts really creep me out like that's ew no but here we just get crystal hair so crystal ponies yay so other than that oh man this is one of those things where they're smart they're really really smart uh one of the few things that um this box in my uh in my opinion and my prediction is that um, what they can do is that have all six in one one box and 
the chances of getting the Celestia is a ratio of 1 to 5 per carton and we got no idea how much is inside a carton uh, meaning um, one box has six so one carton has probably six I guess probably I don't, I'm not sure and uh, that's the best way to get all of it but if Mighty Jax is evil one box could have randoms so buying a box doesn't guarantee you all of it buying two boxes doesn't guarantee you to well probably no the odds are still if one box has two let's just say have two twilights and rest of the main six so that means one of them will be out you have two twilights probably no applejack so it's one of those things where if you want to get more sales and business that is the smart way to do it and this also fosters this uh, sense of trading community where oh i let's just say okay for me example uh, example for me i have this i i'm in a pony uh facebook group i say i post on to the group saying that hey i have an extra twilight anybody want to trade for an applejack and if somebody says yay uh, i have that let's trade so i send my applejack sorry i send my twilight they send their applejack and we have we're happy <clears throat> so those are one of the scenarios that could have happened mm -hmm. Oh boys, but that is the news for. Ooh, give me a second. Hey, that 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 really looks good. That really looks good. But anyway, that is the news for this week. So, let's move on to the next topic. And next topic is, what have I been doing with my week? So week week week. Technically, I haven't been doing much. I've. Sorry. I I'm. Yeah, I haven't been doing much. Um, work is a uh, work is work, work work. Um, didn't play D and D because friend wasn't available to. Well, one of our key, one of my friends who was a key character in the campaign I was running or not running, I was involved with, couldn't make it. So we decided to take a break. And technically, I haven't been doing anything, uh, anything, any, hmm, anything much. One of the few things that I've been doing is I've been playing Diablo Three. I don't know why. It's it's just one of those itch, like you know, like you, you get that you get that itch where you want to do a dungeon crawl. Like, just go in, bash monsters, get loot, repeat. And, in all honesty, it's just fun. It's nothing bad. Um, Even though, right now, Activision Blizzard King is kind of a mess with how they're running their business and whatnot. But, I've already bought Diablo 3 a long, long time ago. I own the game, so I want to play. As long as I don't give them any money, that's good. Ah, boy. But I do hope they change their tone and be more friendlier to their workers. Um, On the front of Magic the Good Ring, haven't been doing much of that, really. I mean... Uh, it's one of those cases where nobody really has time to play now. We we have our own things to do, so we're kind of leaving that up for. Hmm, how do I put this? Yeah, we 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 just kind of want to take a break from that for a bit. Well, actually, me, I I I I'm feeling the fatigue. <clears throat> 
But anywho, um, let's wrap things up. Let's wrap things up. So if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmbshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and also Stitch Radio. And also like our Facebook page, and you can also catch us on Moneyvalive.com. Link are in the show notes. If you would please do subscribe and rate us on the Review and Discussion podcast over on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there you will catch me and Tara when he's not busy reviewing the Pony Comics episodes, movies, and special. And sometimes we like to do other things than Pony, and those are comics, cartoons, mangas, animes, video games. So yeah, if you would please go do so over there. And if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, myself Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. And I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya.